<clears throat> Your father invented this role, but you defined it. One and the same. Capital ship, capital city. A home for humanity. The decision isn't yours. Neither is it yours. Save the cluster, straight back to work. I get it. I think the Krogan have waited long enough for a seat on a council. There's more to life than this. I've learned a lot from you, Ryder. Up straight, everyone. This is the guest of honor. <laughs> so this is how you all party, hmm? How does your crew stand you? There's no name that would represent everyone. <laughs> I missed you. Ryder saves the day, Pathfinder of the Century. So we heading out again soon? Repeating! This is the Ark Kiasia! The Corian Ark? It's kind of nice, actually. <laughs> I won't tell anyone you said that, kid. And I'm still amazed. Still standing? I'm gonna be a dad. Oh, good. You're here. Maybe the festivities can finally begin. There might be two riders around soon. Imagine. There's a galaxy out there, and you're all pioneers. We're not done. Hey, Scott. You beat me out of medical again. How long? Not long. Weeks. Enough to... get started. Started on what? The Hyperion? Meridian? One and the same. Capital ship, capital city. A home for humanity. We did it, Dad. Are you okay? You and Sam? Our connection has been restored. I am once again able to help the Pathfinder activate Remnant technology. But does he still need to? I adapted to use Remnant without him, but it's not advisable. Dr. Carlyle estimates an 80% risk of further hemorrhaging. Further being the alarming part. For you and me both, Scott. Pathfinder, the Nexus leaders are waiting for us. Go on. I bet it's real important. It always is. Go on, I need some rest. The decision isn't yours. Neither is it yours. That is the point, isn't it? Pathfinder, you're late. Save the cluster, straight back to work. I get it. It must seem like that, but this wouldn't be possible without you. As outposts become colonies, the cluster needs its own voice. A true council. And while I maintain that it is premature, we must nominate an interim ambassador to represent concerns outside the Nexus. Or rather, you must nominate someone. Interim ambassador? To what and for who? To the Nexus. The eventual goal was always a galactic council, but Meridian has... accelerated concerns. An Ark has landed. The vaults may make outposts self-sufficient, and we can't claim to represent a sovereign Angara. An interim ambassador would represent concerns outside the Nexus, until elections when we can all step aside. At the appropriate time. I can handle a hot potato, but why throw it to me in the first place? Because we need it to be legitimate. We can't impose a vote on the Angara. Or even Kadara. Eladin? <laughs> Won't happen. But you've acted for everyone. If you endorse a name, some may disagree, but they will trust it as a starting point. Someone to speak for Helios. I put forward Pathfinder Hager. I'd suggest you, but someone might think you killed the Archon to elevate yourself. We can't allow the appearance of that. But Hager keeps the position, and the timeline, in the Nexus family. If we want stability, maybe we should ensure the Krogan stay. What if it was Morta? <laughs> you are out of your mind. It's definitely 
unorthodox. The Angara need to help define the process. It's their right. Plus, the Moshe would help solidify relations. We're already partnered, thanks to your efforts against the Rokar. All the more reason to focus on our own issues. It feels like the original intent was to give that voice to the outposts. August Bradley's a proven leader. On a considerably smaller scale. It's hard to fail with so much military support on EOS. Meridian doesn't mean done. Ked are still out there. A Pathfinder is the obvious choice for stability. For us. But hardly the empowering one. Same old bullshit. You want the Pathfinder to pick a voice? I'm picking Morda. I think the Krogan have waited long enough for a seat on a council. Well, it certainly colors Meridian's opening day. Don't worry, number eight. You'll be fine. Scott is feeling better? Good. This decision, the policy and protocol, that's not what your victory was about. There's more to life than this. Integration of Hyperion systems is ongoing. Our SAM node will be accessible on return visits to Meridian. Ryder, enjoying the fruits of your labor? You deserve it. Thanks, Kello. The Tempest is getting some much needed service. I thought I'd leave them to it. But I wouldn't miss the big day. Meridian looks so different out of the cockpit. I think I understand better why you do what you do. Thinking of trading in your pilot's chair for some muddy boots? Not even slightly. I know what I'm good for. I don't pretend to understand everything, but Meridian must have opened a lot of doors. Not all of them safe. I want you to know that it'll be my privilege to keep flying you to them. I can't do this without a good pilot. Or a great pilot. How about a pilot determined to help his friends? I've learned a lot from you, Ryder. And Gil. Don't, please don't tell him that. Things will change now, but that's all right. Nothing's ever really lost. I'll be ready when you are. How is this not finished yet? Up straight, everyone. This is the guest of honor. Well, like you have to tell anyone that. Hunter, this is our opening. Let there be some sense of ceremony. As I was about to say, hello, Pathfinder. I am Chief of Operations, Ayora Pile. Second Wave Placements Officer, Darlavas Hyperion. Hunter Carey, Reconstruction. Hunter Carey, can I get some clarification on Reconstruction? Sure thing. I'm tasked with turning this once proud vessel into the future proud human capital. It's more complicated than that. No, it's a structural and organizational nightmare. Which is job security, which is perfect. Come back in a year. This'll be a galactic hub. You won't know where the Hyperion ends and Meridian begins. Iora Pile, you're in charge of Meridian? That's a big statement. I will oversee the operations and establishment of our port. Exploration and study of the... interesting substructure will be handled by Initiative R&D. I'm told that may take lifetimes. We'll ensure that we have them. That's what I trained for. Darla Vas Hyperion, placements officer. As our developments in the cluster grow more sophisticated, proper matching of sleeper and assignment will be vital. My mission is to ensure compatibility and fulfillment. When are you changing your name to Vas Meridian? I keep Vas Hyperion to honor the ship that brought us here, as my godparents would want. The saying was dying. Please forgive Hunter. He is an ass. This is the first I've heard of the term second wave. It isn't literal. There have been several groups deployed for outposts. Second wave is about the staged evolution of the initiative. First wave out of cryo, structural support and generalists. Food and fences. Second wave is organizational. Less generalists, more specialists. More paperwork. It's needed to rapidly advance. I'm not spending a generation on the range. Sounds like Meridian is in good hands. I can only read the reports of how you brought us this opportunity, 
But rest assured, we will not waste it. Yes. Thank you, Pathfinder. Aye, well they said. We got a lot wrong on this trip. But they were right about Pathfinders. <laughs> so this is how you all party, hmm? <laughs> Pretty tame, but don't tell the host I said that. Meridian is amazing, though. You accomplished the inconceivable. I'm grateful to be part of it. Couldn't have done it without you and the Resistance, but mostly you. That's kind. <laughs> I'm glad I rose to meet your expectations. To think that when we met, the Angara and your initiative struggled to find trust. The way we arrived on Aya was over the top. You know, uninvited and on fire. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Guess it worked out okay. <sighs> Ryder, the Angara will never forget how you saved the Moshrai. But more than that, We'll never forget how you fought the Ket beside us. How we destroyed the Archon. Meridian is a new beginning for your people and mine. Together. It's like a fairy tale. Do you have those where everyone walks off into the sunset holding hands? At a time like this, I... I, I think it's strange that you can't resist Making a joke. I can't so. <clears throat> Jal, our people. Actually, no, I can't. Hmm. Actually, I kind of like it. Are we staying? Heading out? Hmm? Whatever you need. This isn't what I expected. It's better. If you're expecting a pat on the back, you're gonna be disappointed. All right, I'll settle for a hug. How does your crew stand you? Some people find me endearing, charming even. More like insufferable. But you do get results. That was dangerously close to a pat on the back. You're hearing things. Plenty of people actually want to talk to you. Don't waste your time with me. Pathfinder, I'm told there will soon be a new voice representing Helios. Another of your leaders claiming to know what we need. It was an impossible choice, Ephra. There's no name that would represent everyone. Though the one chosen definitely represents someone, don't they, Pathfinder? No one's pretending this is ideal, but it's a start. That's irrelevant. Things started long before any of you arrived. The only important question is, what will continue? Hire of GX is Pathfinder. To better tomorrows. Pathfinder? It's overwhelming. I don't know where to start, but I can. I don't care which hey. I'm on. It's all... Ryder, <laughs> I missed you. Really, Costa? I was gone maybe an hour. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it wasn't long. So, did you miss me? I'd say stop being foolish, but look who I'm talking to. So long as you keep talking. Heard Scott woke up. <laughs> How's he doing? He's exactly where he should be. I'm sure he'd disagree. So, you're telling me you're having trouble explaining limits to a rider? Hey, know who I just talked to? A second wave technician, fresh out of cryo. Just had his first sunrise in Andromeda. He couldn't stop crying. Just him? <laughs> uh, must be something going around. 
Maybe you're the carrier. It's really feeling like home, you know? Finally. They haven't given you five minutes alone since the fight. Have you had a chance to let it sink in? You know what? It means a lot that you're here. It means a lot that you noticed. You said some things after the fight. Meant it. All of it. I want a future. Thank you for asking. For everything. Back at you, Pathfinder. For everyone. But mostly me. We'll talk more later. Just take in the moment. We deserve it. You deserve it. So, Tan says he's gonna let me stick around and help with the... Hey, Ryder. What's the word on the street? Ryder saves the day, Pathfinder of the Century. You know, the usual. Still? Get used to it. They're gonna name things after you when you die. And probably even before. So we heading out again soon? Oh, she's all grown up, leaving home, doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> That'll be the day. We'll handle my deals on this end while I'm gone. Sounds like you two have a good arrangement. It's getting there. A little trust goes a long way. Helis has really turned into the fresh start I wanted. In so many ways. And now with Meridian, we're really going to make this place ours. I can't wait. You know where to find me when you're ready. Ready to go whenever you are, Ryder. Till then, I'll just enjoy the view. So glad you're up and around. I have important news for you. There always is. Yes, discoveries every day, but this is something we've been waiting for. Listen. So, white noise? Sorry, Sam. Active filtering. Initiative protocol Alpha Alpha to the screen. Protocol what? Processing. Repeating! This is the Ark Kiracia! The situation is not under control. Not an avoid until further update. Repeating! Is that... the Corian Ark? And Elcor? Drell? Volus? Hanar, I think. That's some delicate business, putting Hanar in stasis. Point is, they're still out there. The Kila Sia wasn't destroyed. It's patchy, and there's no traceable vector, I assume? It bounced through the Scourge. I've doubled long-range probes, but... That's not a distress call. It's a warning to keep away from... wherever they are. Whatever's happening, they don't want to be found yet. We have to trust their Pathfinder. All we can do is wait. Nothing new, Pathfinder, but the Quarian Ark is out there. There's hope. Ready when you are. Kid. Sorry, Ryder. You know what? You can call me Kid. It's kind of nice, actually. <laughs> I won't tell anyone you said that, Kid. This place is something else. We can finally start doing what we were supposed to do when we first got here. Explore. Speaking of that, I sent out the Mechmore scouts. Nearly drowned me in reports until I pointed them at Tan. Told him to be extra wordy just for him. He'll love that. He wanted the job, he can have the reports. It's not over, you know. There'll be more Ket and whatever else is waiting out there. I know, right? It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> Fighting for all the right reasons. You're right, it'll be fun. Ryder, you're right, it'll be fun. Heading ground side? Meridian, huh? I see it every day, and I'm still amazed. We're really starting to put down roots. It's wonderful. Did I tell you? The team's working with the Angara to set up a joint research body. We still need you on the ship. 
I'm not giving up the Tempest, Ryder. I just also hope to be involved with the Angaran scientists. Us helping them, them helping us. Can you imagine what we could accomplish? <sighs> I'm getting all misty just thinking about it. Joint research body cooperating with the Angara. You're planning a party, right? Of course. Nothing builds a team like a good whiskey and a laugh. You'd better show up, Ryder. We wouldn't be here if not for you. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for the world. This place is incredible. I really want to delve into its inner workings, but we haven't got clearance yet. I think they're afraid us mucking around might cause Meridian to drop out of the sky or something. Still standing? Still standing. Then I did my job. Somehow. Nothing more need be said. I'll remember that the next time you chew me up for getting hurt. So will I, Ryder. So will I. Ryder? Hello, Ryder. Thanks for the hey, Ryder. Jill is walking the walk. The procedure took. I'm gonna be a dad. Congratulations! I'm thinking Mary if it's a girl, Deanne if it's a boy. Mary, Deanne, Marie Deanne. Pretty cool, right? Jill might have something to say about that. Oh, right. Note to self. Bounce names off Jill. So, this is supposed to be a celebration, right? You getting used to any of this yet? Meridian? The dream becoming a reality? It's a lot to take in. I'm still in the pinching myself phase. Well, I'm sure everyone here would be happy to line up and give you a pinch. But so you know, I've got the Tempest topped out and ready. You want to blow this hot dog stand? Just say the word. Callow's out there somewhere, time one on. If we're really sneaky, he won't even notice we're gone. Who's flying then? You? Why the hell not? I'm a quick study. How hard can it be? You better get this nonsense out of your system in the next nine months, you know. <laughs> Little Mary's gonna have a fun dad. The Tempest is calling. She wants to get going. I told her to sit tight. You're partying. Honored to see you, Pathfinder. Glad to have you. Ryder. A fantastic turn of fortune for the Hyperion. Perhaps one day the Parchero can expect the same. In not quite so dramatic a fashion, hopefully. Hiya. Oh, good, you're here. Maybe the festivities can finally begin. I don't like sitting on my ass. Places to see, people to go, y you know what I mean. Well, let's get this show on the road. Meridian looks great, but you know, been there, done that. We'll be here a lot. This place is the key to everything. You're right. I love keys. They open all sorts of new things. Helios is changing, and will be for a long time. I'm just antsy. Don't want to miss a thing. There's so much more out there to learn and do. I know. We've only just scratched the surface. Hey, get your head out of the sky, Ryder. Enjoy the moment. We're here to celebrate, remember? Look who's talking, Miss Basale. Just keeping you on your toes. For now, you're right. The galaxy isn't going anywhere. Let's have some fun. I'll be ready whenever you're done with the party. Hey, Ryder. How's Scott? Much better. There might be two Riders around soon. Imagine. The Hyperion's forming scientific teams. Gotta start studying what we have. I may have helped them organize. That'll be exciting. Meridian rewrites all kinds of physical laws. Maybe they'll name a new law after you. Something about never staying in one place? This is a new cradle for humanity. That's a big idea. 
bigger than I'd imagined. So maybe building those teams was smart. Small steps to understand all this, until we're at the top of the mountain. And seeing the next horizon. Can't deny it. I'm game for more. With so much power in our hands, you think it'll be okay? Cora, sometimes you just have to leap out there and see where it takes you. Yeah, I guess you do. Whatever happens, you gave everyone an incredible gift. Nice job, Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Ready when you are. <clears throat> Living so soon? It's no fun having the boss at the party. That depends entirely on the type of leader. I'm new to this role myself. The training didn't cover how to honor your peers. There's no protocol. Your father invented this role, but you defined it. We've done what was needed, and this will always be here for us. But there's a galaxy out there, and you're all pioneers. That's why you're here. We're not done.